It is genuinely so difficult to sit here and watch games now because look at this. I mean, this speaks for itself. 37 to 14, obviously it's very difficult to tune into games. Cardinals fans, I know you relate. It's not like we have a guy like this on our team where we can tune in and we have a favorite player. I like Kyler, but this offense has been abysmal and people are already 50-50 as it is. There's not a player a lot of people root for. It's either Buda Baker or Kyler Murray. Outside of that, there's not many players that people like. I like a ton of guys, obviously, BJ Ojolari, Jalen Thompson, the list goes on and on for me, but that doesn't go for every single Cardinals fan. And when you put up 14 points and almost give up 40 40 it gets pretty hard to root for a team i don't want to sit here and just complain and complain and complain but at some point it's got to be better we are two in freaking 10 oh hi thanks for checking in i'm still a piece of garbage this team sucks this team is genuinely terrible it's hard to tune in the week in and week out penalties are just killing this team penalties play calling offense defense football life everything on this team is bad it's tough. Like, it genuinely is so tough to tune in watching the Rams, who struggled to put up points last week against the Seahawks and genuinely only put up points because of penalties, come in here and have Matthew Stafford look elite again. I genuinely wasn't fearing Matthew Stafford. He came in here and threw four freaking touchdowns. And if I'm not mistaken, Tyler Higby had two as well, and he had zero touchdowns coming into this game. Tyler Higby just owns us for whatever reason, and Kyron Williams, go figure, just had a field day again. It gets so hard to watch games, genuinely, when you know what's going to happen. You know the run game is going to kill you, and you're going to lose games. It's tough, man. And honestly, just looking at draft picks, that's like the most, that's the most exciting thing for a Cardinals fan right now. And I mean, I guess if we're going to have optimism, we can go ahead and take a look at this graphic right here. Let me go ahead and pull it up, because it seems like the only thing that matters this year is the draft. And I mean, Houston lost today, huge win. I would have loved to knock them out last game and they would have had a worse record. They would be five and six right now. But right now they stand at the 17th spot. Their first round pick goes to us. Hopefully that's top 15. And as you guys see, we're the number two. Number two, worst team in the NFL. Number one is Carolina who doesn't get their pick. So at least we get our pick, right? So we get to build this team, hopefully get Marvin Harrison Jr. But New England also lost today. So if we won this game, we would have been pick number three. But if you're one of those people who want a chance at Caleb Williams, well, here we are, right? Carolina just needs to win one game. We're neck and neck with them. The season has just been very bad. And at the end of the day, I mean, we're right there. So if you guys want the number one overall pick, which I wouldn't mind either, because I think we could just build around Kyler. So if we do get it, we could trade it, get more assets for a team that just genuinely wants Caleb Williams. If you think he's so generational, come trade up, come trade a haul, Stack the picks. Monty, fantastic at drafting in his first year here. I would love to give the man more assets and genuinely right now. I mean, like at the end of the day, like we do have two first round picks. So like there's a lot of optimism going into next year. And what kind of sucks is Kyler looked banged up towards the end when he took that sack and just went straight down. I don't know what happened, but like genuinely I'm hoping nothing's wrong. Injury concerns have been super big. I'm a big Kyler fan, but I, I know, I know injuries are super big. It's tough. The Cardinal season's over. If you're a Rams fan though, shout out. GG's got to give you guys props. Your run game looked great. Matthew Stafford looked phenomenal today. I wasn't expecting that personally. I'm not going to sit here and discredit you guys. You guys look fantastic. We're on your A game. Drop 40 points on us. And it, it, they literally put me into a depression. Whoa, just take it easy, man. <laughs> so shout out to you guys, man. But like at the end of the day, you know, it's football. It is what it is. We're a tanking team is what people like to say. We're tanking. We wanted to win games early on. It wasn't happening. So now we're losing. I'm accepting it. I'm sure a lot of people out there are accepting it too, but it is what it is, man. We just got to move forward. Just keep losing games, get a higher draft pick and call it a day. I know it's hard for me to come on here and be super optimistic, but we are two and 10. It's difficult. I just wanted to come on here, therapy session, cope with you guys a little bit. Just kind of gauge your guys' opinions as well. I know this season's tough, but it is what it is. At least we have each other. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and end up enjoying today's video, man, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post Arizona Cardinals and NFL related videos. So if you're a fan of either of those, this is the perfect channel for you. But like I said, man, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out. And love is love. And hate is hate. Today's an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory, I tell you how it tastes. Damn, you why your girlfriend so bad.